Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to talk about Power Automate Desktop and how you can automate anything which is related to your desktop, how you can uh, automate the stuff which you are doing on day to day basis and which is consuming you a lot of time, how you can just simply automate them and have your this RPA in, in process so that it can take care of all the manual stuff. So let's talk about it. So it, this uh, Power Automate desktop is still in preview and it comes as uh, a free and without any additional cost with Windows 10. So right now you can see I have just opened it flow.microsoft.com enus desktop and I am giving uh, I have that option of downloading a free app for this Power Automate desktop. So I have already downloaded it. So it's uh, just total free for the Windows 10 users. You can simply start uh, automating your day-to-day -day work after downloading it. And how is different from Power Automate uh, flows? Uh, these specifically the cloud flows. So let me just uh, go there as well. So in normal cloud cloud flows, you can see like we have the uh, I mean like more than 400 connectors where we can just automate our business process and uh, we can just uh, create the flows uh, for our team for organization based on the business requirements. But uh, this Power Automate desktop is specifically intended to create the flows for your personal use and for automating the, the cumbersome tasks which you do uh, daily. For example, uh, you, are, uh, you are downloading a uh, lot of files and then uh, clubbing all the data in single file or possibly like, you are sending email to a same uh, DL, uh, I mean like all together the same data. So possibly those sort of manual tasks you can automate with this uh, text of flows. So you see in this uh, flow as well in a separate tab we have that option of like creating text of flows. If I click on this it actually launches uh, the same app which we have just downloaded the Power Automate uh, desktop app. So it's a, another way of creating the text of flows. So let me just launch my Power Automate desktop app. So now you can see I have this uh, uh, app launch app launched in my this tab and I have uh, this environment setting which is my default environment and I can create my new flow over here. So I'm just clicking on new flow. I'll be just taking a small example of uh, the merging different PDF files into single one and uh, so that I, I think like uh, this is the most of the time this this kind of requirement if you're a sales guy you are merging a lot of lot of PDF files a single one and then uploading some that file at a centralized location or the file share so we'll be doing that for example if we to demo out this power desktop tool so I'm just saying uh, let's say demo flow So it will actually create my environment where I'll be writing my the main flow and I can have the sub flows attached to it as well. So on the left hand side I have the this uh, full list of the actions there are around 400 actions right now. So you, you can see I can create variables I can have the if condition if and else conditions I can have loops I can work with file folder compress and web and web automation. So this specifically like if I am if I want to like work automate something on web then I would be using this web automation actions so this stuff uh, I am just going to tell you like how you can automatically create this sort of stuff rather than in, have, drag and dropping the same uh, same actions on, on your flow using so we have we have actually two type of recorders over here one is web recorder and another is desktop re recorder so for web recorder if I would like to automate some stuff on my now on any of the sites for example downloading some excel or like entering some data into some website then i'll be using this web recorder it will create the all the required actions automatically so as per my action so i'll just uh, give you that uh, a quick demo so let's say so it actually gives me that pop up to choose the uh, the actual browser i want to work with so i'm choosing chrome and under advanced setting i can choose the existing browser so I'm just saying let's say I'm choosing this power automate desktop browser or let me let me just choose that new tab so I'm clicking new tab so it actually opens 
uh, up a new tab oh, for me so from here you can just simply automate your stuff so you need to just open your site where you want to work or you, you want to automate the steps and it once once you click on the record it will start recording all your actions so I just went to this Microsoft uh, roadmap and when I say start recording it will start recording all my steps so now you can see it has starting recognizing all the objects which is there in my side so I can just scroll up and click on this use this roadmap it will open up the new tab it's this is in a new tab and I can say simply say download but uh, this would not record the downloading part of it because uh, we have to use the desktop recorder for uh, downloading all the files so don't get confused like uh, the downloading everything would work with the web recorder only so you can just interact with whatever you want for example you just want to give any feedback then it will open up some pop-up you can say okay I like something and then you can simply type in and submit it so all these steps would be recorded and after that it uh, you just need to go to your this recorder and you need to just say finish recording so it will automatically create all the steps based on your interaction so as I said uh, I would not be using this web recorder for my flow I'll be just creating one uh, merged PDF file from the different uh, PDF files for this demo example so I'm just closing this flow and creating a new one and this new flow would be this merge PDFs now I'll be using the action from my right hand side rather than recording any recording from web recorder or a desktop recorder so I'm just going scrolling down I'll be finding the uh, section PDF so over here I have these four actions extract images from PDF extract text and as I said I will be using the merge PDF so I am just dragging that, dragging that action on my main screen and from this PDF file we have to select all the P, uh, PDF files so you can see select file there is an icon I am just clicking on there and going to my this uh, folder where I am having already four invoice PDF I am selecting all these four PDFs and clicking open it actually added up all the PDF files comma separated and merge PDF file we have to select the merge PDF file where we would like to have that merge so I am just saying in the same folder I have that merge PDF so I am selecting that location and if that file exists what it should do so I am saying overwrite it and in the advanced you can just type if it's a password protected then you can type password otherwise uh, just leave that address in the delimiter we have because as I said uh, we have this delimiter separated by comma we, we are choosing the delimiter as comma and the variable produces much PDF so if you would like to use this variable in subsequent uh, steps so I'm just saving doing save so it saved my step now we are going to run this flow so when I click on this run button it opens up it runs that flow and I'll just I think it has run and I'll just go to my this folder just to check that everything is merged or not so in merge PDF I can see all my PDFs are there all the single files get merged to one so this worked so this is a simple very simple example of how you can automate your day to day work day to day manual stuff using this uh, uh, power automate desktop so in the subsequent uh, videos i'll be covering individual cases use cases what different use cases you can automate using this power automate desktop so just keep tuned uh, for my next uh, videos on this same topic so that's it for today if you find this video useful, please uh, drop your like and as well like if you have any questions, then drop your comments. Thank you.